What's going on guys? Troy at Mountain Man Treasure in my kitchen because it's time to do some cleaning. Mountain Man. Mountain Man. Treasures. Welcome into the channel guys. My name is Troy. I'm a part-time reseller based out of Montana and just a quick video today. I wanted to show you something that you may already know, but if you're new to picking up Revere wear, this is something that you'll need to have in your tool belt uh, because it typically when you pick this thing up, see, look at that, that that's standard. That's what you're going to get. And this is actually pretty clean compared to what you'll get a lot of the times. But the bottom is dirty. We're going to show you how to clean those things up. Okay, now you get a good view of my kitchen sink and you get a good view of the bottom of this pan. As you can see, it is obviously in used condition. Right now, Revere wear. Hard to see, but there is the logo right there. You typically are going to find Paul Revere's silhouette there with uh, with the head. Now, this one, older because it's got a double ring on it. I actually had a viewer talk to me about that when I picked these things up, and I knew the double ring meant something. Looked it up, and, uh, of course, they were right. So this is uh, pre-1968. That's when they used the double rings. After that they started using just a single ring. And actually, if you find a very old Revere where it's him riding the horse, and that is going to be very, very nice. But a lot of it you find is going to have just the silhouette. Now, usually you find this stuff and it's all dirty because people have been using it for the last 50, 60 years, right? So what do we do? Well, we could sell it like this if we want to, but it doesn't take much actually to clean this thing up and make it much more sellable, much nicer looking in photos. So what we want to do first off is just run it through soap and water. I mean, really, you can't get much more basic, right? So this just a light, I mean, we're not even hardly washing anything off here. We're just rinsing it off, okay? Now, as you can see, that does nothing, right? It's, it's still dirty. Turn off that wire, you can hear me. It's still dirty. But what we're going to do is Barkeeper's Friend. Now, Nana Tink taught me about this stuff, getting the black kind of marks off of the inside of mugs. Guess what? This thing works great on Revere Wear, on the copper bottom hands. All we're going to do, we're going to put a fair amount of this on there because we're going to make it kind of a paste, right? So there you go is the top there. We've already got water in our sponge and we're just going to smoosh the paste onto there. Literally, this is what we're doing, guys. But you can see already, move that out of the way, it's starting to pick up that color because it's pulling that stuff off. Let me show you what happens with just a little bit of scrubbing. And this isn't even anything special. I mean, this is not like it's a secret special sponge. It's just a kitchen sponge. This is looking really good, guys. And I'm gonna leave the sides for a second just to show you where we came from to where we are. Look at this already. Okay, so we're gonna rinse this off. All right, look at what we've got now compared to where we were. And now you can actually see the logo, can't you? So there is the logo down there. It'll say uh, patent pending, I think, something like that, or patent under process, which is weird because by this point they actually had the patent. It was no longer, but they kept that on there for some time. So you'll see that on the older stuff, patent under process. But look where we are here. Look where it was. What's going to sell better, right? If you can show the shiny bottom to this thing, make it look almost new, or look, it's an old pan. So there you go. There's our finished product. There's one little ding on there, but not too bad, right? Looks really, really good. Now, over here, we don't need to worry about it, but sometimes these handles will get pretty faded, 
pretty uh, pretty worn looking as well. You can uh, you can really rehab those by just a little uh, mineral oil. Will bring those right back to life. Uh, the older ones, in particular, Bakelite may have lost some color. So this and uh, on the top, you can tell Revere wear by the handle. Very often, that's what the uh, the top handle will look like. And these lids will sell well by themselves. Uh, sometimes, depending on the size, so you can even pick up the lids. But Revere wear does quite well, and that's how you clean it up. So there you go, guys. I mean, it's really very simple to get something looking like this turned into something looking like this with up to two minutes of work, if that, this is going to sell much better. So keep an eye out for that Revere where you'll find it a lot of times at garage sales and you can usually get it pretty cheap now. A lot more people selling the stuff now, but it does still sell. The bigger stuff, the more rare stuff, the better, just like anything else. But uh, look into Revere where. See if it's something that you might want to sell. And if it's dirty, people might be leaving it behind. And now you can pick it up and clean it up. Thanks for joining us, guys. I sure appreciate it. If you don't mind, hit that thumb on your way out if you learned anything. And if you like the channel, leave a comment down below. That always helps as well. We're working our way towards 5,000 subs. Almost there when we get there. Some kind of giveaway. I don't know what yet, but we'll give you something. We'll give somebody something. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I appreciate it. We'll see you.